Ok Serge, c'est ça, mais moi je me souviens il y a plusieurs années, il y a une année, que tu la... So here you see the CC Radio 2E. I'm tuning the uh, two meter band and I'm hearing this repeater. This repeater is located roughly, I'd say about, you know, 30 miles south of Montreal. Um, it's a repeater that I receive well, but it's of course not the repeater, the strongest repeater, but it's an easy repeater to receive on 146700. And the example I'm going to give here is that this sea crane, even though not the best of radios for this task, still gets it, as long as I play along with the antenna. But here's the same frequency, and I can move the radio around, whatever, but the same frequency on the end, Rangda, gives me static like this. Barely, maybe a signal here. But it gives you an idea when I say that this radio is deaf on VHF, UHF, it is deaf. It barely gets it and it only gets really the strongest signals on the uh, VHF range. So this is to avoid. This is not a good radio. It's a crappy radio. Um, the only thing surprisingly that it does okay is receiving international broadcast. But for the rest, SSB tuning is bad. Sensitivity on VHF, UHF is really bad. Um, this is crap and avoid at all costs. Not worth its price. The uh, Hang Rangda. Second Hang Rangda that I have and second crappy Hang Rangda radio. Doesn't look very good for that brand for now. So 146700. Not received here. But on the C crane, it is received. So if you receive stuff on the Rang Rangda, it's because you're receiving the strongest signals. <coughs> that also means that if you're getting the Rang Rangda because you want to have airband for VHF for airplanes in airports, you're missing out on tons of things because it's not good. So that's the example I wanted to give on this video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.